Maria, thank you for that lovely reading of Psalm 25. And can I encourage us all to perhaps during, during the day, take time to read again Psalm 25 and to meditate on it. And I would just like to direct our thoughts just by three quick points um, from this psalm as I see it. The first is that David expresses an utter dependence on God. He's not dependent on his own strength, his own gift or his own ability. Verse 1 he says, in you I trust, O my God. In verse 5 he says, my hope is in you all day long. In verse 15 he says, my eyes are ever on the Lord. Verse 20, I take refuge in you. And in verse 21, my hope is in you. So David is not dependent on his own strength. He is dependent on the Lord. And may that be the same for us. The second point is that David has an intimate relationship with God. And he looks to God for his guidance, his direction and his comfort. Verse 1, to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Verse 4, show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truths and teach me. In verse 9, he says, he guides the humble in what is right and he teaches them his way. This lovely verse 14, the Lord confides in those who fear him. He makes his covenant known to them. Verse 16. Turn to me, be gracious to me. David has a relationship with God. May we turn to God each day, dependent on him, trusting in him, and develop that relationship with him by spending time with him. And the third thing is that David... And this is the key. David knows God's forgiveness. In verse 5, he says, You are God my Saviour. Well, only a sinner needs a Saviour. And David's Saviour is God. And he says, You are God my Saviour. In verse 6, David says, Remember, O Lord, your great mercy and love. For they are from of old. In verse 7, remember not the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, O Lord, remember me, for you are God, my Saviour. And in verse 15, he says, only he will release my feet from the snare. And verse 20, guard my life and rescue me. Let me not be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. David looks to God for forgiveness, and that is where we look to as well. We look to God, we look to Jesus, we look to Jesus on the cross, and we know that through his blood shed on the cross, we have forgiveness. So as we start this day, as we begin our service, let us be dependent on God. Let us look to God for, to, for this intimate relationship and may we, may we get to know God more during this service. And as we listen later on to, David, to, to Dan's, uh, Dan's message, may God speak to us and deepen that relationship that we have with him. And may we never forget that we need God's forgiveness. And we thank God for the, the blood of Christ shed on the cross. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you that you are a God that we can get to know. We thank you, Lord, that you have made a way for us to have forgiveness. You've made a way for us to get to know you. And we thank you that that is through the cross. We thank you that you are a God that we can get to know intimately as we look in your word and as we spend time in your word. Help us this morning, Lord, as we sing songs of worship, as we read your word, 
as we listen to your word being preached. We ask you that you will speak to us, that you will deepen our knowledge of you, that you will deepen our relationship with you. And in all of this, Lord God, we ask that your name will be praised. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We're just going to sing now three songs. The first is All I Once Held Dear, followed by Faithful One, and then The Splendor of the King. And after that, Dan will bring God's word from First Peter. Amen.